Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Roy. I am a home cook and amateur baker and I am here on this channel sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now today I am doing a back to basics tutorial and this time I am showing you how to cut peppers. I showed this in another video but I figured I should start putting these things aside in separate videos and that way I can just refer you back to those if you need any instruction. So today we are doing peppers because I need some peppers, some sliced peppers, for a recipe. So I'm going to show you how to slice them and then I'm not going to chop them but I will show you how to chop them, um, kind of. So the first thing you do is you cut off what they call the cheeks of the pepper. That's this rounded part. And what I used to do is cut it in half, try to scoop everything out, and it was a big pain. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just go and cut off the cheeks. You kind of follow where they are and you might have to cut off a little bit of the rib inside, but that's nothing compared to the mess that it would have been if you just cut it in half. So I'm just gonna finish cutting these and see I follow the curve of the pepper to try to get it as much of the, now see this one's already almost there. You're trying to get as much of the pepper off without causing any problems with the interior. So these little corners, I don't let those go to waste. I will come in and cut those corners off. And then sometimes the bottom is a little narrow because if you followed the curve of the pepper, you won't get much down here, but there is some down here. So I'm gonna do the same here. And there's some little spots there that don't look too appealing, so I'm not gonna cut those off. So I'm gonna push these little chopped pieces aside. Those will be great for some use, but I'm going to take my knife and run it gently along the, along the rib. They call this white piece the rib of the pepper. And if you're using a spicy pepper, this rib and the seeds is where all the spice is. So if you like it spicy, you keep those ribs and seeds in your dish. I mean, not on a sweet pepper, obviously, but if you're doing like a jalapeno or a habanero, something like that, and you want all that heat, keep the ribs and seeds inside. All right, so those are done. Now I'll start with this big one and I'll just show you, I mean, it's a basic slice. You're going to go from the top to the bottom. You don't want to go across um, this way. You want to go from top to bottom. That way the structure of the pepper stays more intact and it is a little more likely to keep together this way. Kind of like with an onion, um, you want to go from the top to the bottom when you're making slices. And then when you get to this last one, it's often a little tricky. But you have, there you have some perfect pepper slices. Now, if you want to dice them, you were just going to gather all of these together and I would just do like one cheek at a time. I wouldn't try to do them all at once, but you could. You're just going to go across in the other direction. Whoops, it did go, if you do it. Um, you're just going to go across this way and I'll show you a couple. I don't need this whole pepper for the recipe. And you go as big as you want. Like if you're looking more for a chopped pepper, you would go a little larger than this and you would make the strips larger. 
because it goes, strips are the biggest piece of a, a vegetable. Then it goes to a chop, which is, you know, bigger pieces, but not full strips. Then it goes to a dice, and then it goes to a mince, where you're getting as real fine as you can. And then the next step is to use a grater, um, which I have done with peppers and onions for like to incorporate them into meatloaf or uh, meatballs. That way they get incorporated, but you don't bite in and get a chunk of pepper. You get the flavor, but not the actual chunk. So there you have it, a quick tutorial on slicing and then dicing peppers. And like I said, if you wanted a chop, make the slices a little wider and the chops a little wider than the dices. Minces, if I were to mince this, I would just go from here and keep rocking back and forth like this so that I got smaller and smaller pieces of pepper. So I hope that you found this informational and I hope that you will give this video a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe if, hello. I hope you will subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell for the next time I upload any sort of video. And also comment down below if you found this interesting, if there's a different way that you do it. You can follow me over on Instagram. You can also join one of the two Facebook groups that I am a part of. One is Mine Alone, Recipes with Roy. And then one I co-admin with Jennifer Lynn from the Jennifer Lynn channel and Brie Coleman from Balancing Life with Brie. And that group is called Finding Our Way, W-E-I-G-H. And I will leave the icon here so that you can know you have made it to the right place if you are looking for us. So I hope you will go and cut your peppers with confidence. And until next time, bye.